Welcome to New Stripe City, a YouTube channel for diehard Bengals fans. I'm your host, Ace Boogie, and today we're going to talk about Cordy Glenn, another player that I believe could be on his way out of Cincinnati and could save the Bengals a lot of money on the salary cap. Uh, so starting things off, uh, we all know the background with Cordy Glenn. There was a lot of drama this season with him. Many expected him to be traded at the trade deadline, and the Bengals did not trade him, which was very um, weird, honestly. Uh, there were reports from Tyler Dragon that the Bengals were trying to shop him um, and were listening to offers for him, but ultimately decided not to take any of them for him. So his value is going to be very interesting going into this offseason because you're talking about a guy who's a quality uh, left tackle, uh, could also play right tackle. And with teams needing a uh, tackle in this league, especially with the emergence of edge rushers, uh, you know, you just looking at the 49ers game against the Chiefs, how they were able to get to Pat Mahomes. That right there shows you that there is a need for a left tackle in this league. And when you look at his numbers um, for what you would be paying him, $7.5 million for a left tackle. That's a pretty good deal. So um, starting there, that could be a reason um, why a team would trade for him. Now, another thing that makes him an interesting uh, pick there is that he has a zero hit on the dead cap, so you would not owe him anything, and you would immediately save $7.5 million by either trading him or cutting him. Now, I'm no cap expert. I believe that's correct. I don't know if there's a certain deadline that the Bengals have to trade him by in order for them to not have to pay that $7.5 million, uh, but that could be a reason for them to move him, and this is a guy that can net you a pretty decent pick. Remember, this was the guy that the Bengals traded their first round pick um, for and also got in return. So they traded him to the Bills, um, allowed the Bills to move up to, I believe, um, in the teens. I think the Bengals had like the number 12 pick or something like that. They didn't like a lot of the offensive tackles um, at that spot. So they moved. And they traded their number one, number one pick for the Bills' number one pick and Cordy Glenn. So um, this is a guy I think that could command some value. Maybe even a second-round pick wouldn't be too far-fetched. Now, given that this draft class has a lot of tackles, they might not give up a second-round pick. So maybe you can get a third for him. But whatever you can get for Cordy Glenn, I think that you should really take. And I think that you should really consider it. I think you should also consider possibly cutting him. You talk about $7.5 million that could be used towards somebody like Jack Conklin, uh, a free agent, right tackle, or, you know, someone that you could put this money on, whether it's a linebacker, whether whatever it is, uh, whatever you need to do. Now, the thing is, the dilemma there is that Cordy Glenn is a good player, right? He is a good lineman. He is a good player at a position of need. So if you do cut him or trade him, you are essentially weakening your offensive line, which we all know is a weak spot for the Bengals. And we all saw how bad it was without Cordy Glenn this season. Um, and we saw how much better it was once he got back in. But the, the other X factor here is that they started to play Fred Johnson from the Steelers, and he is extremely way more cheaper uh, than Cordy Glenn is, and he actually played pretty well. It was some people on my channel and some people on Facebook were actually confused thinking that he was actually – Cordy Glenn when he played so that's another aspect now I'm not saying that Fred Johnson is Cordy Glenn right because if that was the case everyone would be saying that the Bengals don't need to draft a tackle but if he is somewhat decent that's a lot that's about seven million reasons for you to go ahead and put a plug on Cordy Glenn so you guys let me know what you think in the comments would you trade Cordy would you cut him if you were to trade him what would you trade him for and let's try to make it realistic stuff guys like obviously you can't trade Cordy Glenn for a first round pick that's not happening uh, but I'd love to hear you guys' ideas so let me know in the comments what you guys think and as usual I'll leave you with a who day all day every day and especially on Sunday